amma know the basics of sanatana dharma today's topic dashavataras of vishnu and their spiritual significance part c episode 52 by chandrashekar jayanti dear friends in the previous episode we have discussed about dashavatara that is masya kurma varaha and narashima avatars in this episode we will be discussing about the remaining avatars starting from vamana parashurama shri rama shri krishna and kalki avatars friends when evil people terrorize the world the righteous shall be righteousness shall be in peril to restore dharma and to maintain the harmony of the creation the god manifests as an avatar again and again by protecting the good and punishing the evil paritranaay sadhunam vinashaay dushkrutam dharma samsthapanaadhaya sambhavami yuge yuge this is what lord krishna says in bhagavad gita friends we will discuss the vamana avatar now let us discuss it from the first dharmic perspective king mahabali was a righteous king and was very dear to his subjects yet he had a pride that he had conquered all the three worlds lord vishnu assumes the form of the dwarf brahman and seeks arms from mahabali the three footsteps of space for his sadhana mahabali happily agrees to give it to the little one the little one grows in size and measures the earth and skies with two steps and the third step he places it on the mahabali's head thus lord vishnu removes the pride of mahabali and gives him the liberation also now let us understand the spiritual perspective of this when we give a little space within us to god our guru initially he removes the mamakar that is mine the feeling of mine and finally he removes the ego that is the ahankar that is i and mine he is removed within us when we give a little space to uh, the guru he comes and occupies the whole of us and he removes the i and mine from us this is what vamana avatar indicates dear friends now let us discuss about parashuram avatar from the dharmic perspective vishnu incarnated as parashurama in treta yuga to exterminate kshatriya kings who went out of their way and had become a great burden to bhudevi the mother earth parashurama corrects the cosmic equilibrium by destroying this kshatriya warriors parashurama had the qualities of both the sage and the warrior let us discuss the spiritual aspect of it dear friends a thorn has to be removed with a thorn similarly the rajasic quality that is tending to be tamasic the rajas of the kshatriyas are becoming tamasic and they are becoming burden to budevi and creating terror in the minds of the people and they have to be removed by the rajasic quality only that is endowed with sattva parashurama avatar represents both the brahma tejas that is sattvic quality and kshatra viryam the rajasic qualities dear friends in the coming episodes we will be discussing about all the trigunas sattva rajas and tamas dear friends now let us discuss about 
ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಅವತಾರ ಧಾರ್ಮಿಕ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ರೆಫರ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ಥರ್ಟೀನ್ ವೇರ್ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಲೂಸಿವ್ಲಿ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ರಾಮ ಅಂಡ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ವಾಸ್ ಅನ್ ಎಂಬಾಡಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಧರ್ಮ ದ ರೈಟಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ ಐಡಿಯಲ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಪರ್ಸನಾಲಿಟಿ ವಿತ್ ಗ್ರೇಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಟ್ರೈಟ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ರಿಫೈಸ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಹಿಸ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ಡಮ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಕಂಫರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸೇಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಇನ್ ಮೆನಿ ವೇಸ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರೋಲ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ ಟು ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ ಟು ಎಮ್ಲೇಟ್ ರಾವಣ ಕಿಡ್ನಾಪ್ ರಾಮಾಸ್ ಬಿಲೌಡ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ಸೀತಾ ದೇವಿ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆರಗನ್ಸ್ ರಾಮ ಕಿಲ್ಡ್ ರಾವಣ to get back sita ages passed by yet the story and character of rama inspires us every one even today dear friends birds bears monkeys squirrels sages tribals people even brothers all were attracted towards him and everyone wanted to sacrifice everything for this person what is that personal cherishma that ooed them all that weared them all around him it is the beauty of dharma it is the beauty of dharma dear friends that's why rama maricha calls him ramaha vigrahavan dharmaha so he is an embodiment of dharma friends let us understand the spiritual perspective of shri ram avatar rama was a king yet he lived like a sage and restored dharma every spiritual aspirant has to have a dharmic outlook rama's life illustrates that a spiritual aspirant should not be selfish and become indifferent to the well being of the society kingdom and forest is same to rama the stable mind is the essence of the spirituality a spiritual aspirant has a role to play in the well being of the society rama protected many sages from atrocities of evil minded demons and facilitated their sadhana a spiritual aspirant has to emulate the qualities of rama and evolve guru or god in form of rama should be invoked by the spiritual aspirant to eliminate lust and the intellectual arrogance within the ten headed ravana is the personification of lust and intellectual arrogance the scholarship should not make a spiritual aspirant egoistic and blind with lust and arrogance so this has to be eliminated so we require the rama avatar now let us talk about the krishna avatar from the dharmic perspective the word krishna means who attracts the personality of lord krishna is an attraction his name his words his acts his form has a charm and beauty his life was a celebration as a smile never left his face he eliminated adharma by being by the with the side of dharma he eradicated many evil doers who became threat to dharma as miracles happened around him he remained as a wonder and a witness diviners descended in fullness as krishna hence the glory hence the attraction hence the charm hence the miracle wonder and bafflement so that is the greatness of krishna avatar from the dharmic perspective now let us understand the spiritual significance of krishna avatar dear friends krishna is a purna avatar his madhava dharma we cannot emulate he could uh, lift the govardhana giri with his little finger he could show viswarupam we cannot do all that we cannot emulate he lived with 16000 wives by becoming 16000 krishnas we cannot do that 
that is all madhava dharma we can only adore the madhava dharma of krishna his manava dharma we can emulate gita is a spiritual message of lord krishna given in the midst of battlefield his advice to every one of us is don't run away from life situations face them with the serenity of mind involve in everything yet don't get entangled this is the sum and substance of gita for that you require the self knowledge or bhakti or dhyanam or karma marga whatever it is finally you should not get entangled in the worldly things yet we should not run away from the life situations this is the sum and substance of gita he walked the talk he celebrated the life yet being detached or becoming a witness in every situation by seeking guru's guidance and protection a spiritual aspirant is bound to reach the stage of sthita pragya as explained by lord krishna's message of love shall remain forever let us invoke the universal teacher krishna into our heart and make him the radha saradi the charioter of our life dear friends now come to buddha avatar from the dharmic perspective desire leads to sorrow is the central message of buddha buddha's life is filled with compassion and peace his eightfold path is for obtaining nirvana the highest state of complete peace the influence of buddha on society is everlasting buddha brought to the forefront of the human life the concepts of peace compassion and saintliness now let us look at from the spiritual perspective the very message of buddha is to make us turn inward his compassion his message of peace his meditative mind and his message of renunciation of desires are like guiding lights in the inner journey of spiritual aspirants dear friends now let us discuss about the last avatar that kalki avatar from the dharmic perspective kalki avatar of vishnu is yet to descend into our midst the purpose of this avatar is to eliminate the evil forces completely from the set it is said the kalki is bound to ride on the white horse with a sword and drive away the evil forces and pay way to satya yuga friends from a spiritual perspective the horse represents the sense perceptions in kali yuga the horse has to be well trained well controlled because we are subjected to many temptations the swar represents the discriminating intellect the rider on the horse represents the self when the knowledge of self shines forth the evil forces are driven away within no time bring in the light of self knowledge by surrendering to guru or to god the darkness of kali age is driven away from our mind and pays way to blissful age of satya yuga satya yuga represents the brightness kali yuga represents the darkness the darkness of the mind has to be a, uh, driven away by the knowledge of self knowledge that is what the kalki avatar represents dear friends with this we have completed the spiritual significance of this avatar dear friends om lokah samastah sukino bhavantu om vishnu 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 om shanti 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 om shri gurubhyo namaha hari hi om